Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So my client here came in today for a cut and color transformation. So you guys get to watch it from start to finish. We actually cut her hair before and it has grown out and now she's ready for another haircut. So we'll start off by doing our preliminary cut. I'm just literally using my shears, not my shears, my clippers to do a clipper over comb just to kind of get some of the length down to prepare us for um, her cut and shampoo. Now, for her hair, because she just got a relaxer recently, we will not be relaxing her hair at all. We will basically be doing a shampoo service and then we'll be doing a highlight in her crown area. So the purpose of a preliminary cut is to basically just take down a lot of the hair that you will not need towards the end of the service. Us doing this as stylists really is to also help the process of making sure that you're able to thoroughly wash, service, relax, whatever it is that you have to do to certain areas. And of course, it always wants to make you work smarter and not harder. What is the purpose of keeping all of that hair if you know you're going to cut it off at the end? But I'm also one that I will leave the hair longer than I am going to be cutting at the beginning. And then when it's time for the cut, I can scale forward or back or I can go a little bit shorter or I can keep it the length that it is. That's the purpose of a preliminary cut. Okay, so I hope I explained that really well. <laughs> Now for her crown area, all I'm doing is just taking off some of the length right now. Um, we are going to be doing some highlights to this area. If you guys notice, she already has some pre-existing color that we did way back when. So we're going to put a lot of emphasis in her crown area. She'll have a lot more emphasis towards her face. And she came wanting more like a honey brown, honey blonde color. Just a little bit of warmth. And we're just going to add a couple of foils in that area. Now, she is relaxed, so you don't want to use a high-volume developer to do this. It will actually move extremely quickly because she's already extremely porous from having a relaxer, okay? So, I just applied a couple foils. Nothing for me to really explain because, number one, this is more for professionals. And number two, if I try to explain this part... All that chemistry is just going to bore you to death. So I didn't bother doing any of that, but I did <laughs> lighten and highlight this area. And I did a little bit of weaving technique for those that really care about that part. Now, once we completed the highlight portion of the service, I shampooed her using our Hydra Strength shampoo and conditioner. That is a light moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. It is amazing for people who have highly porous or relaxed hair. And then we went through and uh, just toned, I toned her highlights a little bit as well because they were a little too brassy for my liking. So I did tone them to give them that honey brown color. And then I finished the cut. Now I'm just going through and just fine tuning the actual cut to prepare her for her mold. Let's talk about the molding. So for her style, she decided that she wanted to do waves. If you guys know me, and how I speak about waves. Waves are okay for a right now style. If it's something that you're trying to keep for the life of a, a shortcut, like two weeks, good luck on that. I feel like waves are more complicated, but it is a great style or go-to style for when you are doing a today event, tomorrow event, maybe two days from now event. So I use our Elite Silk Wrap Foam. It is amazing for those of you that have relaxed hair, natural hair, whatever the case may be. I use it to do waves. I use it to do finger coils. I use it to do roller sets, whatever the case may be. So today we're going to be doing some comb waves. And of course, you want to make sure that you have enough wrap foam on the hair to allow that hair to be easily manipulated and that wave to come out nice and smooth and molded. Um, this part of the process is not really more for me to explain. I'll let you guys watch this part. And then once she's dry, we'll talk a little bit more in regards to style and care.
Now, I did want to note for the crown area of her head, it is fully colored now. Um, and I just used a roller just to keep it off of her face and allow it to dry a lot better. Um, this is more, say, just by choice. It's not a requirement, nor is this going to be a part of the style. This is just to help her hair dry a little bit better and keep it off of her face and from moving around. Now, when she goes under the dryer, she did not move. That was very important. I know that sounds crazy, but moving around in the dryer could actually disturb the wave as well. So we didn't want to disturb the wave preliminarily. We wanted to make sure that it was fully intact. So now that her hair is dry, I put a little bit of frizz tamer and shine serum on her hair. And then for the wave area, I did go through and disturb the wave slightly because I was using the curling iron just to kind of emphasize the wave slash curl. Um, this is something that some stylists do. Some stylists will leave it. It's really by choice and what kind of style you're going for. But I do like to kind of disturb my wave a little bit to give it that 3D effect where the, it looks like the wave is popping off the head. It also smooths the hair out because it can look a little um, scrunchy from just being under the dryer or whatever the case may be. This is a part, like, well, like I said, when you get to styles like this, no style will ever be the same because no wave will ever be the same. No curl will ever be the same. You can have a rendition of styles like this, but they're always considered to be a custom style because nothing is ever in the same place. Now, on a creativity, on a creativity, on a creativity level, I do like the waves because I feel like they're extremely pretty. It's just, I just know how the long they last. And that's another reason why I don't do a lot of waving styles any longer. And I'm, I feel like waves are kind of overrated now. They've done it so much for the past, like two to three, maybe four years. It's like, okay, you know, <laughs> but I do have my clients where, you know, they want to experience it. They like that, that, that right now kind of thing. And it's cool. I'm not against it whatsoever. I just like to tell people it is a high maintenance kind of thing because you, it's very fragile to me. Waves are very fragile. I'll just say it that way. If you sleep the wrong way and one wave just kind of crooks, I always, I'm a perfectionist. I don't even want to wear the style anymore once my waves don't look the way they were the first day. So maybe it's just me. <laughs> but hers came out beautiful as usual. So just sidebar. That was a sidebar. Okay, so for the crown area, I did use my three-tenths of an inch iron to create her curls. Um, in this area, you do want the curls to have a little, you want them to be a little more tight because you want the actual curl to look like a, like a curl. You know what I mean? You don't want it to look like a bump. You want it to be a full-on curl. Um, and then some areas I did use my one inch iron, but it's really by choice, you guys. I could have used the one inch. I could have used the half an inch. I could use the three tenths of an inch. It really just depends on the definition that you want in the curl. If you want the curl to be really, really tight or you want it to be more of a barrel and loose. For this style, you do want the curls to start out tight and then just get looser and looser and looser. So you'll see exactly what I mean as I go forward with the curling portion of this service. So I'm going to stop talking and let you guys continue watching the style
Okay, guys. So you guys can see the style itself coming together. I haven't picked the hair out at all just yet. All I'm doing is just curling the longer hair. And then at the end, we'll use our rake and pick and just kind of move the hair up. You know, give it a little more volume, that kind of thing. But honestly, you could even leave the hair like this because guess what? As gravity gravity and the environment and so many different things touch the curls are going to slightly drop just a little um but of course you want to pick it out to make it be a finished style but just so you guys know <laughs> you don't necessarily have to mess with it at this point especially if you're a client or you are going somewhere um the next day then I would suggest leaving them intact and then you just kind of pull them out the next day so you still have that nice shape that nice fresh curl look but that's just a pro tip Okay, so I'm just using my fingers to go through and kind of move the hair around, put it in places where I want it to be, and then I use my pick just to kind of pick it out. But if you guys notice, I still pulled my fingers through it because nothing is better than your hands when you are styling. It's called finger styling. But I want you guys to comment. Tell me what you thought about her haircut, her waves, her curls. Tell me what you guys thought about the finished style and her color. Her color came out beautiful. Of course, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Anyhow, guys, like I said, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you can see when I post new videos. Also, follow me on Instagram at EliteHairCareUSA.com. Tour dates will be released very soon. And like I said, thank you guys so much for watching.